It's the end of an era for Yahoo. What an era, right? The Silicon Valley pioneer will cease to exist after two decades as Verizon buys the company for $4.8 billion. Joining us now is a guy who worked there, Peter Gorenstein. He ran video for Yahoo Finance for six years. He's now the chief content officer at Cheddar.com and Kevin Kelly, chief investment officer at Recon Capital. How many shares do you own, Kevin? Oh, very minimal now. We actually decreased pretty significantly because this was a foregone conclusion this deal was going to happen. What do you think of the deal? I think it's actually a great deal. It's a deal that Verizon can actually monetize the assets. If you think about ad share for Yahoo, it went down from 25% in 2005 to less than 2.5% recently. So they can actually onboard that. Think about Tumblr. Tumblr, which Marissa bought and had to write down, uses Facebook's ad platform now. So, they, so Verizon can onboard that to them. They're going to jump over Microsoft and they should be the trend. Um, when it comes to digital media spend. Peter, let's face it, Verizon wants to be Apple. It, it wants phones, it wants content, it wants its own Siri. Does this acquisition do that for Verizon? I think for Verizon, it gives the company scale. That's what they're looking for on a mobile platform. Marissa came in there, Yahoo basically had zero mobile business. Now they have a decent mobile business. It's still far behind Facebook and Google and Snapchat. Uh, but it's a scale play. It's not an exciting move. I mean, I think we're all talking about it because we all you know, have used Yahoo. We know Yahoo so well. Uh, but it's a scale play, and it's not really anything innovative. But you know, for $5 billion, they get scale. Look, the, the skeletal structure of Yahoo, which was search and content, so that's gone. That goes to Verizon. What's left is the skin and maybe, maybe a little uh, softness and, and some excitement, I guess you could say, because it's got the Alibaba, what, 38 billion, 32 billion? It's, it's really a, had been an incredible investment. The Jerry Yang, one of the founders yeah. that made, he and David Filo had said, well, let's put a billion into this thing called Alibaba. Many years ago, when Alibaba wasn't what it was, that seemed to have been a really great move. But what happens to that? So what happens to that is actually you'll get Yahoo Japan, you'll get Alibaba, the stub. It's going to become a 1940 Act registered investment vehicle. So it's going to have some cash there. It's going to have some uh, non-core patents. So it's, it's going to be really a non-operating entity that's just going to own some other assets. But getting back to a point earlier, uh, Verizon should be able to monetize a lot of these assets too because look at Yahoo right now. They're only getting 10% of users are coming back on a daily basis as opposed to Facebook, which has 65% of people, they can start increasing that. So, the, so as they start getting to that, I think Verizon will really play well. Okay, off this. Peter, you worked yeah. for her. You yeah. worked for Marissa yeah. Meyer. You got to tell me if she's on Planet X somewhere, thinking that she's going to be invited to stick around because she may want to stay around. Although I don't believe that for two seconds because she's got a two hundred million dollar buyout. But uh, Tim Armstrong, who who runs AOL and is now at Verizon, I don't think he's going to step aside for somebody like her. No, I think Tim Armstrong's been obsessed with Yahoo for a very long time and has w wanted this acquisition even before uh, AOL bought Verizon. So now that he's done it, I think it's his dream scenario and he's going to have total control. I don't think Marissa's going to stay around for long. Yes, I did work for her technically. I didn't I wasn't really in meetings with her or anything like that, but I, I don't see I don't see her wanting a second, you know, a number 2 role here or or wanting to be in this business. So uh, I, I think it's a PR thing at this point to say I'm going to stay on. Uh, we'll see how it shakes out. On that point, I think it's important to note that if she was going to stay on, she'd actually, they would have announced it. I mean, this deal has been worked on for months on end. They were the clear, uh, they were the clear uh, bidder, Verizon was, so they would have brought her on. They would have announced how it's exciting guys, to have her, so it would have been announced if she was going to stick guys, around. there is nothing in exciting. In fact, it's totally depressing to think that in 2000, this company was worth $125 billion. Peter, you work well, in the I mean, industry. That, that, you, that's but, technology. But, you know, I, I get it, but you work in this industry. Is this a lesson that just as soon as you've got it, it goes off into the ether if you're not careful and you miss signals of what's hot, like mobile? Yeah, of course it is. And and you were mentioning earlier about Colin Gillis downgrading Apple. I mean, even, if he's saying Apple is a sell, I mean, anything could be a sell. But to your point earlier, yes. Jerry Yang made a huge mistake not taking the Microsoft bid in 2008 for $45 billion. His saving grace is he invested in Alibaba, and that's kind of been a wash, I guess. But, yeah, they should have. It, it was the worst, uh, worst decision ever not to take that deal. Yeah. Okay, last question. 
Uh, you buy Verizon on this, Keith? Yes, yeah, I, I would buy Verizon, and I think actually some of the appreciation in the shares that have happened over the last couple months is because they did think this deal was going to happen. Well, they're on the move, and they're trying to do a lot of new things, and, and a lot of people use Verizon, so we'll see. And great, great management. That's the difference. They've got a good management come. Great to see both of you. Peter Gorenstein, Cheddar Chief Content Officer, Recon Capital Chief Investment Officer. Keith Kelly, great to have both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Kevin Kelly, rather. I'm sorry.